how are you, Leo? Welcome to Call for Help. Thank you. What can I do for you today? Um, Leo, I've got 10 plus hard drives on my network. <laughs> Yo! And I'm running out of hard drive space, and I've been looking at some other alternatives. <laughs> Isn't that uh, ironic? You've got 10 hard drives, but you're running out of space. Yeah. And I'm looking at a Terra station or something like right. that to put into it. These are called NAS uh, drives or network attached storage. Oh, okay. And the idea of it, the Terra station's from Buffalo. The idea of it is, it's not, it's, a, it's not really a computer. There's no screen. There's no keyboard. There's no mouse. It's just an enclosure with a lot of storage in it and an Ethernet port. And you connect it to the uh, network, and suddenly that storage. Uh, a terabyte or even more is available to every other computer on the network for backup or you could use it as a centralized uh, server for movies and music a lot of people are using it for media storage um, I, I use it uh, one from in front but I know that Darren just bought a Terra station for his office right right yeah we just picked up a uh, 1.6 terabyte Terra station from Buffalo and I've got to say, it's it's really nice you piece like of it? hardware. Well, I like it, but there's a couple of little quirks that if you are going to go with the Buffalo solution, you should be aware of. Okay. And, and the most major one is that if you're using it the way that they, by default, send it to you in RAID 5 configuration, it is going to be slow as dirt. Really? Transferring. The uh, processor, I think it's a 266 megahertz ARM processor that's on there running Linux, uh, cannot handle the RAID 5. Okay. So if you I'm going to say throw it out. Yeah, well... Because i got one yeah. that works. <laughs> okay. That's, the That's a good reason not to get it. Mine has a bigger processor than yours. Ooh. And I do want to use RAID 5, and I'll tell you why. RAID 5 gives you more storage, but it also gives you redundancy. It is, a, it is, is RAID 0 striping in addition to RAID 1 mirroring. 0 plus 1 equals 5. Yeah, no, but anyway, you're right. That's... That, Bad math, isn't it, on the RAID folks' part? So that <laughs> would achieve the one. backups that I, need, that I wanna? Yeah. Okay. And because it's uh, RAID 5, it's redundant. So it's a really good form of backup. It's, because one of the drives fails, you just turn the thing off, you pull the dead drive out, you put a new one, and it rebuilds the RAID automatically. And now I have four 250 gigabyte drives. So that's why they call it a terabyte. But because it's RAID 5, you don't get access to all of them. I get about 680 gigs out of that. On your 1.6, you get about a gigabyte? Free. Yeah, it, oh, oh, even a gigabyte. No, it's almost a terabyte. I mean a terabyte. Yeah, it's yeah. almost a terabyte. Um, so you have to get more space than you need. Right, but since the RAID 5 is so slow on the Buffalo, uh, we just switched it over to just not using RAID and then got another one and we're just mirroring. Yeah, well that yeah. will work. That but will you work. know, it's really cost effective. The, uh, the Buffalo is They're not pretty expensive. expensive. How much was it for the 1.6? On, on Newegg, I think we got it for 800 That's what I paid for my one uh, from Infront. Right. Wow. What, what's the one you have? INF. R-A-N-T. I also bought it from Newegg.com. Now, this one is plenty fast. In fact, I put it on a gigabit network. Now, that's one of the things to consider is the speed of your network will also impact copying speed. If you have a gigabit Ethernet network, and I went out and I had to get new switches and new router, yeah. but once you have that much speed, this in front is as, as every bit as fast as local storage. So it just looks like another drive. I've mapped it on my PC. Uh, I mount it on my Mac. It just looks like another drive I can copy files to. But better yet, it, because it's running Linux, it doesn't, it, it actually, uh, you set it up through the web browser. You can set up automated backups of the, of the hard drives without any attention on your part and no software running on your local PCs. The NAS does the work. So it runs rsync periodically and it says what's new and it copies it. Um, they're using some special software on the Buffalo called Mimeo. Uh, do you like the Mimeo software? The software that they provide on the Buffalo is horrible. Okay. It gets the job done, but it's just about the most horrible user interface. I'm glad you were here. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like Buffalo as, as a company, but uh, well, it sounds like a, not a good choice. If you're really tech savvy and you don't need the software, then if you're just going to be you know, using uh, a MAPS network drive and it's just one user, perfect solution. You can solution. do it yourself. Right. Yeah. I, frankly, the NAS, uh, you set it all up in the interface from the in front. You set it up all in the interface, and you don't pay attention to it anymore. So you and just set it up when you initially set it up, yep, and it's done? It okay, does. Good. It does it on a schedule. Every night, all of my drives are backed up to this remote terabyte, uh, ter uh, terabyte storage, and it's fantastic. And there's two copies of it, right? 
Uh, there is. There's one on my drive, local drive, and there's one on the NAS, on the okay. backup. Yeah. Okay. You could also use it as a media server, and because on gigabit it's fast enough, so you couldn't use yours as a media server, Darren, because it's not fast enough to play back video and audio off of this thing if it's too no. slow. No, not in RAID 5. Yeah. In RAID Mine 1. can in RAID 5. It's very fast. So I want to say, I'm going to recommend the INFRANT solution. I think it's very good. It's a little more expensive. How much more was it? It was it was about 899 bucks for a, for a terabyte. Now I kind of wish that we had gone with that. I it, couldn't be happier. Does it come with hard drives yeah. in it? Yes, it does. That's a terabyte. Four okay. 250 gig hard drives. By the way, on all of these, it's easy to add more space. You want to double it, just get four 500 gig hard drives, and it automatically does it. It builds the RAID for you. It does it all automatically. It's very nicely done in Linux. Can I access it wirelessly? You would have to buy a wireless Ethernet adapter for the NAS, which you can buy. It has an Ethernet plug on one end, and it turns it into a wireless device. I would recommend wired. It'll be a lot faster. That's when, you know, you want that speed so that the backups are instantaneous. Yeah, I was just thinking if I put media on it, I could use my wireless media server. Ah, well, you still could do that, because what you do is you have a wireless PC, you mount the NAS, you map the drive, so it just looks like a local drive, and oh, you play yeah. it off the PC. Okay, great. Thanks right. for your help. You're yeah. welcome, Brad. Highly recommended. Okay, thanks. Take have a good care. day. And I'm glad you were here, Darren, because, you know, I've always thought Buffalo makes